Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the map and geography feature in Microsoft Excel. This feature allows you to visualize data on a map, making it easier to identify patterns and trends based on location. So, let's get started. Type provinces in cell A. In this video we'll assume Pakistan. Type Punjab and drag them below. I've added them through custom cell method. If you want to know how to add custom list, simply click on the top right card button right now to know how to create a custom list. Also provided link in description. Now convert data to table. Select data and go to format table and choose one table style. I select the first one. Check this option. My table has header and then click on OK. Remove the banded row and filter button. Now again select data and go to data tab and then go to data types group and choose the geography option. Now you see the icon is added to left of data. Select a two cell and click on this icon to show which data you want to insert. I'm selecting population at this time. Select b2 cell and click on the icon and choose area. Select c2 cell and click on the icon and choose capital major city. Select c2 cell and click on the icon and choose largest city. and choose abbreviation. You can also insert description, image, leader, and many more. I'm selection name option, but already available, I'll delete them. Select only province and population, and then go to insert and select the map option. C-Map is draw based on population. If you want to change the background color you can see on screen. To change the title double click on title and type you title. I'm writing Pakistan province's base population. Change background color to white, white is better. Click down arrow to show more customized option. Like chart axis, chart title, legend, plot area, and series population. Select a series population and then click on graph icon. It contains series option and series color. If you select map area to world then your population is shown world map. Change back to country region.
You can also change the series color to sequential 2 color and diverging 3 color. Sequential 2 color is more attractive than diverging 3 color. So choose sequential 2 color. And there you have it, a quick tutorial on how to use the map and geography feature in Microsoft Excel. Whether you're a business analyst, a data scientist, or just someone who's interested in exploring data visually, Excel's mapping functionality can help you gain new insights and better understand patterns in your data. So, give it a try and let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date on all my latest videos. Thanks for watching.